Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Gat, and welcome back to... You know what it is already? It is Sugar Style. Last time, me and Mal went on a, you know, a midnight snack run. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it was, like, pretty cool. You, look at this girl. She liked snacks. She ate a lot. And we learned a little bit about her. If you haven't seen the last episode, go check it out. Already, it's a brand new day. Mal looks kind of weird on the left-hand side, so let us continue. Ah. Who peed in her Cheerios? When I run into her in the hallway, Mal seems rather cranky. Maybe she's got a stomach ache or something. Well then, how were you today? Never enter my side again. I'm not so great at vanishing. <laughs> Strathing as always. However, I am a master of the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Good for you. Don't make a few dozen clowns. <sighs> what the hell? He's seriously down in the dumps. Alright, come on. What's wrong? I'm here to listen. Nothing. It's just my brother. Uh-huh. What about him? Actually, forget I mentioned him. And then mention it. What? You can't just start telling me, then clam up? Now I'm gonna wonder all day. Imagine my shock if you just said you had a new little brother. It doesn't matter, okay? Just go away. Sorry, but this is why they call me Mr. In The Way. Afraid I just can't leave? Fine, then I'm leaving. Mouse strides away. She's storming today, even for her. I mean... It's not like, it's not like everything I've done to her has been offensive, right? Hmm. Oh no, I really have screwed up everything we've done ever, we've ever done together. Her nickname for me is Pervert. Maybe I made an account, maybe I made a more positive impression a couple times since we met, but any accumulation of goodwill, goodwill bursts like that like a pop balloon the moment the underwear incident floated through her head. Hey, Mal, hear me out! It's only fair that you call me a pervert, but I... We're done here! Such a cold look on her face! Really, it has nothing to do with you! Mal gets into her cardboard box and rummages. Dude, she's like a fucking cat! Like, she's like, like, legit, like a fucking cat getting in a box. And also being mean at you. Maybe she's not even pissed. She's like, I'm just mad. <laughs> Mal, the cat girl, that's put, like, cat whiskers on her and, like, cat ears. Oh, really? Yes. That makes me feel a little better. I've been hoping that we bonded a little over our midnight shopping trip. That's why once she started acting prickly again, I just started to panic. In that case, it's even more important that you tell me, otherwise it's gonna eat at me. Why are you so down in the dumps today? Uh, I'm not. Don't give me that. You're seriously sad. Down in the drool, my, my drool drums. Melancholy Mao. Uh. Is there a trouble brewing in the Midnight Snackers Alliance? So, just so we're clear, you've nothing to me. There's no alliance here. <gasps> Fine. She wants to play the rough. We'll play rough. What? Oh dear, Mal. What did we go? <laughs> what did we go bin shopping for late at night again? <laughs> Wait, hide. What was that? What? Oh dear, Mel. What did we go bin shopping for late at night again? Oh, okay, fine. You're part of my life. We're an alliance. Confer <laughs> conference. Alliance. Conference. Whatever you want. Just stop yelling. Mal clears her throat and pauses. Sue and I got an argument. Who? Oh yeah. Dear Yoshi, that's Mal's brother. He ended it by saying, There's some things girls just don't get. Well, boys are like that. Chunbuyu, <laughs> Chunbuyu, puberty, rebellious phages, 
there are all pretty... <laughs> there are plenty of times in the guy's life where he's just a piece of crap. But I mean, he's right. Sometimes I just don't get men. Fortunately for you, I'm here for those times. For you and your brother, I'd give the clothes on my back. Keep your shirt on. Why are you looking at me like that? Stop it! It doesn't even have to be me. I'm sure there's some guys at school who are in the childcare track. All you have to do is ask one of them, right? Certainly. Certainly. The boys start in childcare, but the ratio is somewhere like 80-20. I can't bring myself to talk to the 20%. Okay, then existing male acquaintances? In response to my question, Mal points sadly to at me. Seriously? I don't mean to be nosy, but have you considered maybe opening up a bit more to the world around you? Like, I can't be the only guy friend you have, right? You know, even once you started working in childcare, you're still going to end up talking to a lot of men, like the fathers of the kids in your care, for example. Mm, okay, I've heard enough. Wow. Not only is Mal cranky, but I also seem to have activated her prideful side. Seems like she's the kind of person who works herself up into a tizzy when it comes to her little brother. Mal continues to soak around throughout breakfast. Occasionally, I catch her looking at me. I don't want to approach her again and wound her pride. For now, I'm going to wait and watch. What's going on? Someone steal your panties again? I've stolen nothing! Look at all their faces. I've stolen nothing! Why are you looking at me? <laughs> you got a... <laughs> you got a black mark against you and you know it. That reminds me, what color are they today? Not telling. You got a black marker on your... your own, have you? No way! That's too roundy for me! They're white! Why are they pure snow? Why are they? <laughs> Some would call that boring, but I say it's a classic. I don't like that pervy look in your eyes. Ah, uh, don't be mean, Mal. I thought we were friends. Wrong. Miss, would you like to bring your... Bring you second? Miss, would you like me to bring you seconds? Yes, if you please. Oh, I'll please, all right. I joke, but I dish out seconds as requested. Um, sorry, is that too much? Yeah, no, that looks great. Really? I'm glad. Probably about time I got some breakfast bars for myself, though. I arrive at school. And that went well and good, but I'm still concerned about all that Mal with that stuff of Mal. Mal's got this mys mysterious charm that makes me want to be around her. Okay, I know what to do. I just have to hunt down Mal for my elective today. I'm going to be annoyed no matter what I do, so I might as well poke my nose into her business. Why isn't it Mal? Why, why? If it isn't Mal, good news! Your pretty charming friend is here! Ah. I greet her with my very fed up expression. Yeah, sorry Mal, I know you're pissed. I take a seat beside her, which is conveniently empty. What are you doing here? I mean, you seem lonely. I walk all this way just to keep you company. Next, it's right over there. Very kind of you to tell me, but I'm not leaving. Mm. I am honestly here to learn, too. I bought my notebook and pencil. That said, lack of a textbook is a problem. Eh, I'll be fine. I can bum... <laughs> I can bum mouths if I have to. What me? <laughs> Oh shit, it's me to me. Me to me? Who's that? Is that is it your friend? Yeah, just some guy. I'm her brother. Excuse me? The girls around us abrupt into laughter. Why do you just make up a random lie? No, I'm the one who's gonna have to deal with the fallout. My bad, my bad. By the way. Stop it. Stop it! <laughs> Sorry, I have to put my head in my fucking mic right now. My bad, my bad. By the way, we got an incest thing going on. A brother love knows bro <laughs> A brother's love knows no bounds. 
My god, if Dr. Deer ever hears me fucking... Oh, sorry, my, um, my follower on stream, Dr. Deer. Oh my god, she gets mad at me for being a pervert. And you know what? It's probably these games. It's probably this photo right here. <laughs> a brother's love knows no bounds. Love you, sis. Stop! Leave that for someone you're actually in love with. Sorry. He's mad at me. I sow the seeds, so it's up to me to tell everyone I was kidding. I'm just some guy she knows. Mal likes to call me senpai, which I'm kind of unsure how to f how I feel about. But that's long short of, and short of it. Ah, oh, lame. Me to me. How do you feel about him? He's annoying. So I'm very... <laughs> I'm, I'm terribly no annoying. Ouch, that's rough. How do you feel about me to me after that? She's cute. I just want <laughs> I just want to make her into a wax figure. That was a very obviously a joke. That was yeah. That was very obviously a joke. She thinks she would be used to them by now. Incidentally, it's time for class to start. But the teacher isn't here. I didn't show up for some kind of study hall session, did I? <laughs> Curious about something. You want to know my measurements, do you? Well, if you insist. Good. Keep going. This is why I'm here, actually. Sorry for being creepy. Actually, about my brother. Yes. Actually, never mind. <laughs> I'll drag it out of you one way or another. I'm sorry. I just... It's just... When you're trying to get me to talk, it makes me really want to climb up for some reason. Should I try something different? Anything but the direct approach? Time for a curveball, then. Hmm. I, I mean, if you really insist, I can hear hear out about your problem, but it's a serious pain. Well, Cinderi boy. What are you talking about? All men are Cinderi at heart. Really? How so? Imagine a guy asking his girlfriend step. <laughs> Imagine a guy asking his girlfriend's stubborn dad for his blessing. At first, the stubborn dad refuses outright, but then he sees the guy really trying his best. One day, the stubborn dad pours a beer of his future son-in-law. He says, You're a good kid, son. But look, you're not the problem. I am. The guy says, Ah, oh, shucks, dad. You're right. He is a Sundari. Not that this is any way related to the, class sundur the classic Sundari, though. And then, having achieved a deeper mutual understanding, they walk down the aisle together. <laughs> Naturally, the stubborn dad is the one wearing the wedding dress. No, the poor girl! So, ready to talk yet? I can't imagine anyone wanting to talk to you after that little skit. Fair point, fair point. Okay, I'll just ask. What do I have to do to make you talk? You gotta, you gotta set the mood. Now that sounds right up my alley. Yo, yo, yo! This is the DJ Da King coming at you live. What's happening? We got first time caller on the line. Here, who calls herself Screamer. Why she got such an unfortunate name? Lately, I've been having a really dry spell with my AVs. The shallow bullshit can't get a rise out of me anymore. What do you recommend? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Nice suggestion, Screamer. Oh, P.S. By A.B.'s, I mean the good shit animal videos. Hmm, hmm. What's, uh, you were talk, you were about yanking off the air. Whew, dodge a bullet. Oh, uh -uh, well, I guess there's something wrong with, well, what, we're watching nature documentaries. Take the DJ, the king challenge and check out videos of house centipedes. They'll set your heart racing if you catch my drift. What makes house centipedes so special? Look it up. Mal looks up a video on her phone. Yeah! She actually tosses it in the air. Fortunately, I catch it. 
Sets your heart racing just like I said, right? That was scary and gross and awful! My heart is pounding, but I get away! Incidentally, since our dorm is out in the mountains, you can bet the walls are absolutely crawling with those guys. Moving on to our next caller, we got Mal on the line. Mal, this is DJ the King, ready to help you with all your problems. I don't want your help. What? Why not? Sadly, the bell interrupts us. The teacher finally appears in the classroom. Hey Mal, sorry to spring this on you, but you mind if I look, in, <laughs> look at your textbook as we go? Since I'm here, I really, <laughs> I really, <laughs> I want to really learn. Yeah, I have ever since you mentioned it. I am a very curious person, so it's easy for me to get into subjects interesting. Interesting? <laughs> oh, to studying interesting new subjects. Once I told Mal that I was seriously interested, he was surprisingly okay with me joining in. Gotta go, gotta go. Oh, there's a guy. So you see, the popular amount... <laughs> the population of childs have been declining steadily, leading to the amount of time... <laughs> leading to the amount of caretakers. Mal earnestly takes notes as the teacher speaks. Or so it would seem, except she keeps stealing glances at me. <laughs> I give her a wink. He kicks me in the shins, but of course, I take no damage. <laughs> oh, wrong one. <laughs> I'm trying to make a crazy chimpa chimpanzee face. <laughs> what was that? Mal looks down to avoid his wrath. The teacher raises an eyebrow before returning to the lesson. Hey, did you come here to learn or mess with me? You're the one being distracting. The way you keep staring at me. I... I am doing no such thing. And why are you giggling when I make a chimpanzee face? That, that was a slum. They have chronic spasms. Spasms? That's... <laughs> she got some kind of work condition? <laughs> she got some kind of rare condition, that's for sure. Uh. Mal twists her mechanical pencil and gets some more lead out, but her face goes pale. It looks like it broke. Uh. Remember, this is the girl who lamented that she has no friends. Needless to say, she doesn't have the, pl the pluck to ask anyone around her to share some lead. You're breaking my heart, Mal. Hmm... I grab some spare lead and set out on Miles' notebook. Miles' eyes go wide, but she gives it right back to me. Go on, use it. It's just pencil lead. No way! I'm not sticking your lead in my thing! Wait, what? <laughs> uh... Wh wow, that was the dirtiest thing I ever heard from you heard you say. Huh? <laughs> Once Mal realizes what, what number she did on herself, she blushes like a sunset. I never realized. You're a naughty girl. I'm in mature of you. I honestly didn't mean it for it to be taken as a dirty joke. I know, but seriously, you can't just use my lid. <laughs> but seriously, you can just use my lid. I don't mind at all. Quite up there. Sorry, sir. My appendix is su suddenly hurting a lot. I make something up to cover for Mal. I'm honestly getting annoyed, so I take Mal's mechanical pencil and put my lead in it. <laughs> there, I gave you two. If you got a problem with it, buy your own. I don't want to be in your debt. It's just two sticks of lead. Chill out. Look, I'm sorry for teasing you. Let's get back to class. <laughs> it's two bad. It's two leads. Come on. Mal looks at me blankly for some reason. But after five minutes, she return. She seems to return to her senses and starts paying attention in class again. Phew! Man, I've learned so much today. I let out a big sigh of relief after classes ended. Due to due in part of going to a different class than usual, I feel a strange sense of fulfillment. So what to do now? Even want to go even if I want to go hang out with someone, Kira and Pushiroshi has already gone home. Maybe I'll just stop by the convenience store and go home. <laughs> huh? Huh? Is that Mao? Uh, yes, it's me. 
What have you done with the real Mel? I just said I'm the Mel! Nuh uh. The real Mel is always crabby. Like a blondie. <laughs> like a blonde pigtail crab monster. No way! Is that what you really think of me? I'm a monster to you? Kidding, kidding. It's just. I don't think you ever come to talk to me at school before. Wait, 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 wait. Mal, don't tell me. Wait. You want to go home together, don't you? Maybe. Uh... I can't handle this level of sincerity. Seriously, freaking me out. <laughs> Seriously, freaking out here. Well, same thing. Freaking out here, freaking out, fuck it. Mal, what's wrong? Do you have a fever? I know. You must be an imposter. What have you done with the real Mal? The conversation is going in circles. Get it out or we might never get out of this loop. Anyway, it is really that... Is it really that weird? I mean, we spent how many days now with you calling me pervert or telling me to go away or go die? Oh, actually, you haven't told me to die yet. What makes you want to walk home together today? I just happen to be going the same direction. I'll be dark soon. So I can so you can be my bodyguard. The same direction? Wow. It's almost like we're literally living together. Shut, shut up! If a stranger hears you, they might spread rumors about us. <laughs> that actually kinda that's actually kinda sweet. In other words, Mal doesn't see me as some some stranger anymore. We're housemates, and she's starting to treat me like one. Hmm. Hi, Smirk. Hey, what's with that Smirk? This is just my face, silly. Liar! You got 80% more Smirk than usual! How, <laughs> How precise of you. A feat only obtained by someone who's always got her eyes on me. I, I don't look at you that much. But we set our bickering aside and start on our way home together. The entire way out to the cable car station, Mal constantly peeks at my face from, from besides me. So hey, sorry about today. I was teasing you too much in class. And I shouldn't have been so pussy about the pencil let thing. No, no matter you. We're trying to be nice to me. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad to hear that. I appreciate you putting up with me today, Mal. Guess all the time I spent hanging around with you has finally borne fruit. You're a pretty pers <laughs> persistent met guy, huh? Even when I'm so mean. That's how you see it? Well, I think it's cute. If you really if you were really a mean girl girl, you would have already messed up <laughs> messed me up m mentally long ago. Besides, you're not worrying. You're not worrying would be... You not worrying would be a much worse sight. You think so? Like if she had ignored me or refused to talk to me even when I tried to initiate a conversation. I'm the kind of guy who just starts crying a lot faster from neglect and from verbal abuse. <laughs> really? You could abuse me, just don't ignore me. <laughs> it's dumb. We arrive at the station. From a glance at the timetable, it looks like the cable car will be coming soon. You're sweet. Where the heck did that come from? You're giving me the willies. You've been waiting for me to get around what's been bothering me, right? Nah. Okay, yes, I've been dying to bring that up this entire walk home. And in fact, it's been on my mind all day. But see... I've only met your brother once, so I figured it wasn't my place to cry. Still, you're the type to never let something go once it holds, holds on you. I figure you've been fretting about it since this morning. I'm sorry for being so stubborn. No, I'm the one who should be apologizing. I should have tried seriously to talk, talk about it. Like, <laughs> I should have tried seriously to talk about it like, <laughs> like this earlier. It's just like, it's hard to be straight after I've embarrassed myself once already. I had it in my head that Mao was the one beating around the bush all day, but in reality, it was me. We haven't known each other very long. I was nervous to say I've been worried about her, 
even though we live under the same roof. Back to what your brother said. I mean, he's right. There's a ton of things in this world that only other guys are going to get. And if you have any questions about guys, I'm 100% sure I can give you a good answer. That's, that's pretty confident. Heck yeah, it is. Men are a lot simpler than you girls might think. Though, I think there's some sort of black box that girls can't see through in any in a way. From trivial conversation to the worst of dirty jokes. Women have been known for their awareness and sympathy since ancient times. But I'd say men are about 90% brute force and go with the flow. That is true, go with the flow. Like, there's a picture that says like, a woman can accept the man. Like all the, like there's a picture of a guy sitting in his, in like, like a studio apartment, right? All he had was a bed, or like a, like one of those metal chairs, whatever, and a TV on the floor. That's all that man needs. He doesn't really, dude, all we need is a food, a roof over our head, food in our belly, and a place to sleep. And maybe some entertainment, and that's it. But like, I don't know, is that picture and like what the comments were saying were like, what I understand why women, like they're aware and they're sympath and they have sympathy, sympathetic. And you know, they wanna question everything and whatever. We just wanna, you know, go with the flow. And if something does get in our way, we use brute force to deal with it. We don't talk about it. We don't sympathize. We go into action or just go with the flow. We're in two modes. No. The cable car arrives. <coughs> Something's tickling in my throat. <clears> throat. Mal gets on before me. Ladies first, after all. But what were they fighting about? Hmm. Man, I can't stop thinking about how cute she is. Two of us find a spot towards the back of the car. As Mal fidgets restlessly in the seat besides me, I can't help but notice that with the evening sun shining on her face, she's even prettier than usual. Shit, I'm really attracted to her. She's gonna kill me if she notices. I love Mal's smile, but even that worried look on her face is charming. Unlike her normal childish adorableness, this has a strangely mature sex appeal to it in a way. N nothing uh, sorry I'm not blushing am I no I'm blushing yeah you're blushing this is too much the moment I start getting nervous it all falls apart so want to tell me about it tell me now all right as you know I got to our argument with Sue go on sometimes Sue ignores me when I go home I try to talk to him but he gets all sure of me. I know that he's not technically ignoring me, but... How about you retaliate by ignoring him then? Kids can't get, can get like that because they know, they don't know it will hurt until someone does it back to them, right? He just has to experiment it with himself. Experience it with it himself. Then Sue will have to rethink what he's doing. But I don't want to do that. I just want us to be friends. Okay, I get it. No matter their age, boys always have to be showing off. Mal's brother has start to think it's lame to be friends of a sister. Like how when you tell someone at school that you love your mom, suddenly everyone treats you like you got an Oedipus complex. Ooh, he loves his mom. Shit, look at that fool. What a fucking weirdo. Yeah, I remember that. I remember saying that to someone. Uh, because like, I didn't live with my mom, so like, I couldn't be like, oh, I love my mom. Like, out of, like, you know what I mean? But like, fool, like, I love my mom. Like, <laughs> dude, this guy loves his mom. What a weirdo. He, <laughs> I fucking bashed this kid in like, sixth grade. Ah, oh. He was known as the mom lover. Uh, I, dude, I am not making that up. <laughs> to this day, every time I see him on Instagram, I'm like, there he is, that's the mom lover. <laughs> dude, mom lover. 
Truly, the world of children is a cruel place. Yeah, it is. Um, 100%. Um, I didn't do it too often. I just did it to that one kid and some other person who deserved it. But, uh, yeah, you could be cr kids can be cruel. Not all of them, because some are really sweet. I remember friends back then. They're like, oh my god, I should not have been mean to them. Even if it was a joke, I should not have been mean to them. Okay, try apologizing yourself. Maybe there's nothing you think you should be apologizing for, but even a simple I'm sorry should help him reconsider his actions. I really try that, but he won't let it go. A stubborn one, eh? When kids are inflexible to a fault, that can really lead to problems. He wouldn't even let me in his room. There's only one explanation. I bet puberty hit him like a brick. If this is all true, Shirley Mal's parents aren't just sitting back and watching, unless she somehow got stuck with with a hands-off upbringing like me. What do your parents think about all of this? They're not just letting him do it, right? I think they give it up. They give it up on it. She talks to the other members of the family just fine. It's a thing. What? So it's just you? That's really sad. Poor Mao. Having to put up with bullying back home. It's just a meaning. When I bring him candy, he said he doesn't want it. I even brought his favorite Mothman Rider sausages. But he's still mad. You can't really bribe him, eh? There must be some real problem about at the root of this, or he wouldn't go so far. What can it be? I just want to make up already. You left him, basically. Like, hi. You left to go to the dorm, and he's pissed. Like, if he's like a young kid, he, he was probably attached to you, and you just left him. Like a bitch. Like, like a, you, he feels like you abandoned him. That's what it is, isn't it? Have you told him that? Even if it's hard to solve the real problem, the basic desire to make things right can be seriously ineffective. I did, but he said he can't forgive me for the whole three, for three whole years. Whoa, what did you do? Kick his puppy? No, 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 no way. We seriously got to figure out the root of the cause then. Tell me everything you can and anything you're not sure of. At least tell me any suspicions you've got. First off, why is... Dude, you know she's so mad. If he talks to the rest of the family but not her, this must be the real big deal. I'm not even involved in this and it still bothers me. Just hearing about it makes me want to rake him with the coals. You're going to laugh at me. You're going to say it's not worth worrying about. Oh, so you actually know. Come on out with it. The suspense is killing me. I don't know what she did, but whatever it is, I promise I won't laugh. I swear to God, you want that. <laughs> I, I swear to God, you want that I won't. Maybe you won't laugh, but don't you get mad at me? No, I won't. I'm asking because I'm worried about. I'm worried about you. Come on, Mal. I'm in your corner right here. I'm your number one ally. Ally. Oh, thank you. The tears in Mal's eyes sending a jolt through my heart. Ah, stop! Mal's not the time to be thinking about how pretty she is. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Yes, quickly, please. <sighs> I... I don't know how to feel about that. I'm sorry, I'm... I was right here thinking deep like, oh, you abandoned him when he went to the dorm. No, are you kidding me? I had some of Sue's expensive ice cream. He really, really likes that stuff. Uh... It was fantastic ice cream, cookies and cream. It tastes great. But I had no idea he used the last of his lounge to buy it. So you see, I decided to eat it after I got out of the bath. You know how the ice, how good ice cream tastes then? It was good to him. No wonder he's mad at me. Mal, that's, that's inhuman. Your devil made flesh. Death is too good for you. How cruel can one woman be? That poor kid spent his tiny allowance on a little treat for himself. 
and she made it her post bath luxury. You bitch! You cold, heartless bitch! <laughs> you gotta admit, that's kind of a bitch thing to do. I'm sorry, it is. You cannot eat someone's ice cream. Dude, if I buy it and you eat it, I'm gonna hit you. Unless you're like my kid that I don't have, or my girlfriend that I don't have either, I'm gonna hit you. Come on. Uh, let my siblings do one of those. Let my siblings touch my food. You know exactly what'll happen. My brother found out when I was in the, when I was seven, he found out, don't touch me when I'm eating my food. Don't even touch my food. Don't eat my food and don't touch me when I'm eating my food. Mm. Mm. Water. It's true though. Like, come on, how heartless can you be? I bet she scarfed it down in front of his very eyes like some heartless monster. I'm a failure of a sister! This is the worst thing I could have imagined. If you're not careful, he may never talk to you again. But really? For starters, you're going to buy him another and plead for his forgiveness. At least you can save some face then. <clears throat> I mean, there's no way you haven't done that, right? Still annoying. If that's <laughs> if he says that, you just force it down his throat. Hey, hey, you understand me though, right? It's just nice eating ice cream after you bathe. If you knew that, then why would you deprive him of his pleasure of the pleasure? Ma, you monster! If I was Toshiroshi, I'll do worse much worse thing than just ignore you. In the end, I find myself completely on Toshiyoshi's side, but I still mediate their phone call. Ice cream is a mass produce is mass produced every day, but Toshiyoshi only has one sister. After he and I go back and forth for two hours over which he <laughs> which should truly treasure more, Toshiyoshi finally apologizes between sobs. No. No. Weak! Weak little kid! Ugh. Dude, we're, I'm stubborn. I get that from both of my parents. Like, my dad, when we get... get Like, we're, we agree on most things. But when we disagree on that one fucking little thing, we go at it. We go at it like crazy. My... Like, well, me, I love my dad. So, like, I have to see him. So we, we like argue and like get in each other's faces to the point that we might fight each other. My mom, like when we get in arguments, we just ignore, like ignore each other. <laughs> we ignore each other until the, the first person to say, I'm sorry. And I won this one. I'm going to say it. My mom, she did something, right? I got mad and <laughs> we just... Stop talking from what was it from uh i think after christmas because it was before new year's before new year's to like what two three days ago from what this is uh this is thursday right like no like um sunday that's when i talked to my mom again it was like a month and something. <laughs> we were not talking. And I won. I feel good about myself. And we'll, we'll be cool. I think that's the longest we've stopped talking to each other. Because normally it would be like maybe... Like before that it was like three weeks. This is like a month and like two, two weeks. Watch it be like a year. Like we just stopped talking for like a year. I mean like... <laughs> I know it's bad, but I'm excited because I'm stubborn and I like to win. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Um, I love this game and uh, dude, it's going to end soon. Like I'm thinking what? 12, 13 more episodes and that's it. That'll be the end of Sugar Style. And I don't know how I feel about that. 
anyway, if you like this game, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. Alrighty, I'm gonna go. I am tired, and I'm washing. <laughs> Alrighty. Well then, this gap saying, farewell, fair, farewell, and as always. Nah, hold up. <clears throat> this gap saying, farewell, and as always. <laughs>